Welcome back to another stream. Today we're gonna look at Enshrouded again. God, I sound drunk. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> another stream. Uh, we're gonna look at Enshrouded. Um, they had an update called Hollow Halls, um, which is adding dungeon kind of things like to every biome, which is, sounds amazing, but they also did a lot of other stuff. The, the patch notes are massive. They did a lot of things and they did, added a lot of quality of life things. I think every workbench now can use the magical uh, um, chests, so you don't have to carry stuff around anymore. Um, the You can also now do craft in, in stacks of 10 if you want to. I don't know if it's less than that. I've seen only the 10 at a time, so I don't know if you can craft 7 or 3 or something. I have no idea. Uh, stack splitting has been improved, so a lot of quality of life has been gone into the uh, game. But I was going to continue with my actual character. The character still kind of exists, so I still have the progress of the character. But when I played in a test world for the update, just to see if there's any difference in the very early start, I ended up deleting my actual world. I thought I clicked edit on my test world and clicked delete, and I ended up deleting my world. So the stream world is gone, which means the world progress is gone. And the character progress, yeah, that's okay. So we'll see how we get on. Um, with a new character and then we can always jump in with the stream character if we feel we need to into that world if we want to have the character progression but i think we we might as well have a look at it, how everything works uh, from the start with uh, the new update and see what has changed because i think the the experience will be slightly uh, different and i always like restarting anyway with new updates the same with seven days to die when they have like a new alpha out we always start with a fresh um, update so I think the haircut is actually okay. Yes, I can live with that one. Um, we're gonna go with the normal color here. We're gonna go with the, no, 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 no. We're gonna go with this beard. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. We're gonna go with that beard color. Probably should go with gray at this stage, to be honest. Um, voice, we're gonna ha. stick with that. Ha. 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 Yeah, that sounds kind of okay. And yeah, that's it. So let's give our character a name. Let's call him Schnitzel. <laughs> I don't know what that means translated. It's food. Uh, Jäger Schnitzel. It's a good German food. Like, at least I think it's German. Uh, one of my favorite foods. Jäger Schnitzel with mushroom sauce. Um, let's create the character. There's my other character at level 10, Schnitzel. We're going to create a private world. We're going to create a new world because the other one I deleted. And we're going to name this... Um, schnitzel world there we go and i think that's it yes so let's go kona how are you uh back to basics and good afternoon to you as well and uh, well to me for me it's good evening jen how are you doing hope you're doing well miss lunacy it is a great game yeah i got a bit frustrated when i tried to rush it a little bit with certain areas but um we're gonna have some fun with this one now um a third bazoo how are you and kona thank you so much for the two dollars hey games how are you doing today my friend i'm doing fine thank you so much um I hope you're doing well yourself. So let's uh, get in and play. Now, I, I'm not gonna go through this again. Well, actually, you know what? I let it run for people who haven't seen it before. Simple as that. The elixir, it was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. Hey, Tommy, how are you? From the depths of the well. An unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. So there you go. People gave people power. And what do they do? They want to destroy each other. But they were tricked. When they had to dig the wells for the power. It opened up evil underneath. I 
I always like the fresh start of a game. Um, I'm not sure exactly yet if we're gonna build in the same place. I don't want to build anything big or anything. That was nice to mess around with in the beginning, but um, for uh, this one, we might actually look for a different place. I don't know, or we build initially just something where we can uh, put our initial chests and everything, and then we're just gonna look for something nice to build. I'm not sure, we'll see. I wanna actually this time focus on the quest and the story. Okay, so we have our stamina here. Very good. Here we're going to get our quest. So our initial quests, we have nothing. So you can see our quest log is empty. Actually, let's make sure the sound is okay. I'm setting the sound was a bit quiet, actually. So let's go up a little bit here. And I think the problem is that the music is actually the volume of the cinematic. Yeah, I've seen a few games do that, actually. They... Um, They they tie the the volume because it's actually a music. It's a single track, you know, that plays. So a lot of games tie it to the music sound, which is really weird when you have the music quiet and and, and um, the cinematic goes quiet then as well. Um, so yeah, we are doing okay here. Everything's fine. Okay, yeah. The only thing we want to do is we want to not the controller bindings. We want to go to our keyboard and mouse bindings and that's per character and I know that from testing that before so where's the dodge here sneak pursuit jump space dodge is shift or something or is it space I'm not really sure where's the dodge button evade control so I, I like making that my mouse button to be honest um, and lock on target okay that makes sense Parry, right click. Good. This time I'm gonna go for something more um, ranged. Like I, I tried to do the mage and then or the warrior or something. I don't remember what I was trying to do. But this time I'm gonna go with um, other things. We're gonna play it a little bit more loose and see what's fun. So let's um, save the changes. Okay. So here we're gonna get our quests, our initial quests. And um, Connor, thanks for the two dollars. Typical humans guided by greed. Yes. Yes, you're very kind. Thank you, Gordon. Um, I did terraforming last time. We actually did a whole underground uh, uh, basement uh, in our base. Um, not actually, funny enough, not with terraforming. Terraforming wasn't really handy because terraforming had that issue where if you dig straight into a mountain with terraforming, it does not make it high enough for your character to walk through it, which was actually very annoying because um, I would have loved it if you could have dug into a mountain and it would have at least given you the default height of your character. So, which makes it really difficult to actually uh, dig tunnels because you have to do one and then you can't walk because your head hits it and then you have to do another layer underneath and then it becomes really weirdly shaped. So what I did instead is we used um, the trick to place uh, floor tiles and then remove them again. So that's how we ended up doing it. But yeah, terraforming is really, really good. The blacksmith shouting at you is the loudest thing in the game, yeah. Um, okay, so now we have our first quest here, which is claim a spot for your base. So this is what we're going to do first. Now, they want us to do that right here. That's where we're going to go. Um, set as wave point and then now we can pick up I think we can pick up more here though can we not oh I thought we could when I play tested it I was able to pick up three four things here straight away oh okay is it because I have my wave point here no okay fair enough maybe that is a bug because I, I was able to pick up three four quests straight away with locations for the blacksmith and everything. So that could be a bug that once you open the journal, uh, it, it doesn't give you those quests anymore. It's good though, because I felt it was a bit overpowering. If you start the game, you straight away get like three, four things. That was weirdly overpowered. And then you have these books here. They start quests as well. Well, some of them. In this case, it's the alchemist theories, which I believe is uh, going to guide you towards the location of... Um, where is it? Oh, that's just lore. Oh, okay. So I must have gotten at least five quests from the first stone there when I playtested it. Um, Kona, yeah, yeah um, I see you later. Thank you so much. I 
I'm glad I'm getting to catch the stream while at work. Multitasking, yes. Third Bazoo, thank you so much for popping in. Not not getting yourself into trouble with work, hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to start here going through the opening area, you know, get our initial weapons and um, stuff like that. They have that. So, the loot system has changed now. So, you can click F to take all, which is great. I love that. It still puts everything on the hotbar, which is uh, a personal thing that I just don't prefer as much. Oh, come on, which one was it? C? No. I? No. J? Tab? How do I open my inventory again? That's not I. What is it? Backpack. B, of course. So, um, yeah, we move some things around and we have the two old. Oh, no, no, we want that. Bottom bar? Yeah, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. And we have another. Torture we can pick up. And then we can go down there, but we're gonna go down there from this way because there is a little tunnel here as well, which we can mess around with and get some default stuff. There we go. Teaches you how to throw grenades to get things done. And that's our first weapon. There we go. Very nice. Okay, that's just some lore as well. And... Yeah, let's destroy everything here. Get some default resources. Some wood, very nice. And then we can go down here. I think that's everything you get here in that starting area. The rest is down here. Flame allows you to resist the shroud. So, every time you step in the shroud, if you don't know that game yet, every time you step into the shroud, you have a timer up there, which is by default five minutes, and when it reaches zero, you start getting hurt, because the shroud is, like, starting to hurt you, and um, if you... There is ways of extending the time, you know, things like that. Um, press tab to lock onto foes. That's not true. It's actually middle mouse. <laughs> Control dodge and... Oh, hang on. What? My dodge is supposed to be this. Oh, did I? Oh, did I bind that wrong? Hang on a second. Why is that button not doing what it's supposed to? Oh, action bar switch. Oh, make that five. Enforce this. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's dodge. Okay, good, good. Oh, tab actually works. Middle mouse also does it. So it must be remembering some of my uh, buttons. Okay. Yeah, so I'm not a... Uh, uh, when it comes to fighting single mobs, I don't use the lock-on, really. I only do it when I have multiples um, or one big mob that I don't want to lose against because I find it much easier when it can really quickly switch without the camera turning for you, you know? So some resources here very nice now we got the recipe unlocked because we picked up cloth we unlocked recipe so the game also works on the basis that if you pick up resources you unlock the recipes for it which is really good i like that and i think some recipes are unlocked by finding items um, rather than like resources <laughs> I think that's it. The combat controls are actually quite awesome in this game. They feel really nice. It's actually funny enough, they feel a little bit like um, the South Park controls. Like, you know, the combat is really nice. Here we go. Get some twigs. Get some stones. Get some more twigs. Get some food. 
Start looting all that good stuff. Get the mushrooms. And the honey. Reaps Gaming, how are you? Welcome back, Kona. So we're gonna put our dwelling down, our initial dwelling, so we can start uh, doing things. So the game looks very beautiful, I like it. They actually said that they have something done with the with the FPS cup or something. I don't know exactly what they mean. Um, I saw their video, their release video. They said they did everything more smoothly. Can you show icons for where is that here? Display. <laughs> Oh, sharpness, you can... Oh, look at the sharpness. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's actually... I love a bit of sharpness there. Oh. Okay. That was weird. Um, is it too sharp if you put it all the way up? Is that too sharp? Um, let me see... Oh yeah, that looks too sharp. That's just crazy. Yeah, that looks a bit too weird. <laughs> Let's not make it too sharp. But I think it should be probably a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So right here we're supposed to do our um, uh, first initial placement, I guess. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Meat. Give me. Nice. Okay, let's place it right down here. Um, whatever it is we have to do. Let me see. Journal. I forgot actually already what we have to do here. Um, the claim a spot for your base. Build a flame altar. Okay, so crafting. Okay. So we have all the different areas here. It's quick select. Okay, that's no different. Yeah, when we craft something like say... Um, you see shift space times 10. So it's still a bit odd that they didn't allow you to just make like a specific number that it's, I, I don't know why they decided to do something like shift space 10. Because like sometimes I just want to craft three strings for something. So I'm still not fully understanding the decisions here, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it is. I wonder if it has to do with the engine they're working with and with the different um, uh, uh, physical elements they're working with, if there's a limitation or something. But I don't understand why you couldn't just put a number there where you click on it, you type in the number you want to craft and craft. So, but let's build the full aim altar. Um, I think of show sharp as a knife. What does sharpness mean for a video game? Well, crisp uh, i think it removes some of the blurriness but i think some of the blurriness is kind of nice because uh, it's like if you um if you if you go into adobe photoshop and you make a picture too sharp it just looks really weird yeah because it, you can see every single line and it, it just looks too weird um if you take a photograph and just make it too sharp i think there's a it, it just breaks the flow of an of a image sometimes Yeah, so I like a little bit of sharpness, but uh, um, I, I think too sharp is not good. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Where did we put it? Here we go. Nice. So we can move all the way here. This is all nice and flat. I love it. Let's put it right here. There we go. And now we get our next quest. You're not alone. There are other survivors. Drowsing in nearby ancient vaults, find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently, one beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Okay, and yeah, you can upgrade your altar uh, to extend the building range, um, which is unique per base. You can have multiple of those altars, basically, and the amount of altars increases by, I think, the strength of the flame. Yeah, and uh, your strength of the flame, I think that is global so if you build a new altar somewhere else it also will have automatically the same flame level as for, from what i understand so that that will be across the board and um that is just to reset skill points here which is nice 
and that is to remove it if you want to. Okay, so now travel through the shroud. That's our next quest here, um, which means we have to go all the way over here. Yeah, we're not going to do this yet. So what we're going to do first is we're going to have to see how do we do chests and things like that and see if we can unlock a workbench. So we need some strings, three strings. Like, see? Three strings. I couldn't make ten, which means if I can't make ten and I only have enough for nine, <laughs> I'm forced to do individual crafts. Yeah, so a bit of an odd decision, but it is what it is. So, um, oh yeah, let's do that. What do we have? Strings workbench. Yes. Okay. Um, we can't build flooring yet, I think. Let me see resources. That's resources. Yeah, so we have to put the workbench down first. So let's just put it down here for now. Excellent. And uh, every time you access the workbench, it actually will... Um, repair all your weapons on you and everything. So do we have a chest available yet? No. So construction hammer is stone. Yeah, we need to get some stone. Oh yeah, we want to make our first uh, tools. That's what it is. So, oh look at that. The crabbling hook is already available. We need metal scraps for that. Collider we can already make. We just need shroud wood for that. I know where to get that. Storage, there we go. Strings, another three strings. We don't have enough for strings. So let's go and get some stuff so we can get some basic storage. Stones, get some more twigs and other resources. Um, yeah, I started a new world. I actually deleted my world, <laughs> not not intentionally. I I try. I wanted to delete my test world, and I genuinely thought I selected my test world and clicked delete. And I was like, then trying to get into my world, into my stream world, and I went, "Where's my stream world?" And I realized I deleted my stream world. Um, so, yeah. No, you, you have to wait until it's finished crafting. So if you craft and you hit space, you have to... So if I... You see, okay, this craft's actually pretty quick, I guess. Yeah, but some of them have a crafting time on it. So you have to wait for it to be finished crafting, which makes sense. But you can't really queue them up, I think, until the first one is finished. If you know what I mean. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We, we, we figure it out. We'll see if we can. Um, like, strings are very quick. They don't really have a lot of crafting. I think some things have a crafting time, though. I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah. it's Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we figure it out if it's um, something that's going to be a problem. I don't think it will be. We're going to start with a bow, I think. Um, but first, we want to use those for an axe. And a pickaxe. Okay, pickaxe first. Okay, yeah, I can make an axe as well, and then an axe. So now if we go into our setup. Let's put that away. And let's put this here. Yeah, the sword we don't need. We can actually scrap that. Oh, I can't actually destroy that, the sword. Okay. Yeah, that only has 100 durability, so I don't need that. We keep it as a backup. And um, here we go. And then the food we can cook as well. Okay, good. Let's get some resources started. Oh, yeah. First this. So storage is storage storage was mm. oh yeah at the workbench, sorry. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna craft the rake straight away because there what there used to be a book where you have issues with the rake. So let's see. Yeah, we need more plant fiber. So I'm just gonna have the rake uh, straight away crafted so we don't end up in the scenario where we're not ending up with the rake. Let's get more fiber here as well. Let's get more bushes. Yeah, we're gonna go there in a second. I don't wanna go there at night. Uh, we can sleep through the night as well, just not right now because I don't have a bed. fiber I have takes a lot of fiber in the beginning and you need a lot of string in the beginning oh shit I think we need a few more strengths and then we're gonna be good. Nice, the wolf had the rabbit killed. Saves us killing it. Is there no more? There has to be more bushes down here. Yeah, we're not going in there yet. That's all stuff we're gonna do in the during the daytime. So I think we should have enough now. You don't have to chop trees or pick rocks when they're inside your base. Yes, however, unless they change, dismantling gives you less resources than hitting them. So uh, what used to happen is when I go to one of the big rocks in my area and I hit them with a pickaxe, I get five rocks. I get five stones. If I dismantle it, I get three. Uh, that, that at least was like that before the update. So you get less resources dismantling it. Um, Oh, yeah, you already said that then, yeah, you get less resources, yeah. So, uh, new dungeons, yes. So, um, this update is called Hello Hold. I'm going to link you actually to the update overview. Um, enshrouded update, here we go. So, this is the update. You can read it for yourself. Um, I'm just going to actually pin it. Um, there you go. And there you can see it for yourself. Uh, it's called Hollow Halls, and the, it's called Hollow Halls because they're, they're calling it Hollow Halls because each of those dungeons is like a Hollow Hall, I guess. Yeah. And um, so each biome has now a new playable area called the Hollow Halls with enemies and challenges corresponding to the level of the biome. This daunting new dungeons uh, come with multitudes of new challenges and exist and exciting rewards. So, uh, which means you can uh, probably, like, as you go from bi biome to biome, uh, repeat dungeons, I guess, things like that. So that would be really nice. But we'll see. We'll see. And they also added new new weapons, new building blocks, loads of things. Like, so have a good, have a read over those uh, over that update. Um, if I'm not say Hollow Holds added one new dungeon for biome, yeah, exactly, yeah. So uh, let me see storage. I need to make at least two of those. Okay. Nice. So let me see where are they here. 
Now right now we're just gonna have our stuff outside. So let's uh, put stuff away. Especially that stuff here, yeah, we don't need all that. Um, the rake I don't need right now. The food we're gonna cook, so we're gonna need to actually make a campfire so we can cook all the food. Um, purple berries, I think we just eat them in general. And I don't think wax can be cooked. Fireflies we're gonna put away, and we're definitely gonna put that away. Not. Okay, let me take actually all the weapons and put them into a different one. Um, sword is T, is it? No, it was sword. G? Yeah. And then this here can go in here. Get a little bit of order in. Okay, so campfire. Let me see. Campfire, campfire. What do we need for campfire? Some wood logs. Okay, let's go. Chop a tree. Um, oh yeah, you absolutely should check it out. If you, uh, if you enjoyed Enshrouded already, um, I would definitely say check out the update. If you already finished it and you're like really high level and all that, like, and you already covered everything, I think they also opened up the map a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure on that, I think, but I could be wrong about that. So let's see a campfire. Yeah, let's craft one here. And we can put that right here. Now we can cook, so which means we're gonna go here. Hold the button. And if you overcook it, you get coal. And if you make a bed, the bed has to be under uh, a roof. So I think you have to ha make as at least one... Um, foundation a wall and a roof i don't think it has to be enclosed uh, i think a roof is enough and cooking food gives you buffs like so you definitely want to cook the food and sitting by a fire you can see we get red oh my, my face is actually over it so let me um ooh, how do i do that again Yeah, let me move it around actually so you can see um, things like that. The current quest is not as important. So um, so you can see now, for example, we have this rested bonus here, which gives us warmth comfort level. So the higher your comfort level, the higher your extra bonuses. So you can see my health is actually slightly higher now. Um, it's empty, but it's slightly higher. And when you sleep, you get a bigger comfort level. Now, if you eat cooked food, like for example, the mushrooms, they give you plus two intelligence. This one will give you plus one constitution, which is actually more. Um, oh, these ones give us actually plus two health generation um, for 30 seconds, I think. So, yeah, so for healing, you have this and then so we should eat one of the mushrooms. You can only have three buffs on you as far as I remember. So you can see it on the left there. Then I can eat the meat for constitution. And then if we need to heal, we eat a berry and that will be the third one. But you can see it actually takes um, 30, is it 30 seconds? Yeah, so you can see the top there, it's only 30 seconds. But if you don't have a slot left on the left hand side, one of the three slots, you can't heal. So I couldn't do so, eat something else now, for example. So, but let's put this away. We don't really need this. We need to keep the berries. That's the only thing really. Um, and that's it for now. Um, Kona, thank you so much for another five dollars. You're crazy. You always do this, but it's very much appreciated. Thank you. I thought you were about to tell me that is raw food in this game gives you food poisoning. I don't know actually. I have no idea. We can look at the raw food buff, but I think it just gives you half the bonuses, or in the case of raw meat, no bonus. I guess. Um, I don't think we can make a bed yet because we have to make. Oh, we want to make a bow, so I need some more twigs. I want to make a bow. And all this response, so if you actually lock out and back in, you um, all, all the resources respond. Unless they change that, um, they definitely respond before. Okay.
Got a skill point and we leveled up. Let's actually take care of this guy here as well. So this swords, when we find those swords, can we destroy that now? Oh, we can't. Salvage, yes, we can. Good, so we get these uh, runes, which we need for upgrading our weapons. And if you hack up this, you can get those resources. There you go, we got mycelium, my, mycelium now. Excellent. Or oh, we can hack this up, I think that also gives us mycelium, yeah. And any tree in a shrouded area should give you enshrouded wood, but I don't think there's a tree here. We have to go into a different area. So let's actually go downstairs and see what's going on. Yeah, and these circles there of the blue light, if you hit one of those mushrooms and you stay in it, you lose the enshroud the enshrouded timer up there goes down really really fast. So you don't want to stand in that really. Okay, so It's okay. It's okay. We're still good. We're still good. There we go. We got a mace now. There's another chest here, is there? No. Yeah, you can get lucky with some metal scraps here sometimes with these uh, barrels, but um, it's kind of random. Okay, yeah, we need to get out. So if we look at the raw mushroom now compared to the cooked one, so the raw one gives us plus one intelligence and for 10 minutes and we'll, we can check now out what the cooked one does. Not this. The cooked one is um, plus two intelligence for 20 minutes. So it's kind of double. Um, the constitution is one for 20 minutes, so I'm assuming it's one for 10 minutes or nothing if you eat it raw. Um, is there not a shift? Yeah, shift R is move everything over that matches, which is a really good feature as well. I like that. This actually should go into the other chest, to be honest. Um, rubble, mycelium, old box. Hmm, okay, forgot what they're for, actually. Okay, um, what were you looking for? Oh yeah, let's repair everything. There we go. That should have repaired my torch. Yes, brilliant. Okay, so the weapon I think that we have found is, a bit, is better. So this is 16 damage. We're gonna use this as a melee and then we're gonna use the bow as a ranged. I'm not really sure what I want to use as melee because if we look at the skills, yeah, you have all the different areas, Trickster, Survivor, Ranger, Beastmaster. So what I would like is somehow maybe a mix between Assassin and Ranger where you get stronger for melee attacks, but also stronger for ranged attacks. So the Assassin actually gets increased points in ranged attack as well, which is great. And then it goes the Colliders, which is great. Endurance, which is uh, really good. Increase your movement speed while sneaking. When attacking with a ranged weapon, your critical hit chance is increased by 10. That's really good. So that's all ranged. So the assassin is actually a lot of ranged weapons. I would have assumed the assassin is more close combat. Interesting. 
Yeah, we're gonna check that area out here. I like that one. Pressing the jump button while gliding will give you a small height boost. Was, oh, okay. And I think up here in this area, you also have that um, double jump, which is really, really nice. So we might actually go into here for the extra endurance, sprint speed, and then double jump. We should probably do that first. Yeah. Let's do the double jump first. And then we're going to go over here. Um, you ready for the Division Heartland? Uh, I have no idea when this is coming out, but I'm looking forward to it all right. Um, I haven't really looked into it uh, on the release dates. Uh, Dave Henley, I'm also a firefighter, although was a volunteer department. Um, I've played about 50 to 80 hours. Of the long dark wow yeah i never i never got into the long dark uh, i liked it but um it's just it was too hardcore for me like uh, it was too you always there was always something you had to look after and there was always something you had to plan ahead and i'm not very good with all that stuff so um i'm more good with better with these type of arcade action rpg style survival games you know like seven days to die or this these type of games so let's just get our rested bonus back up. And we might as well cook that mushroom while we sit here. Okay, get it back up to nine minutes. And then we can hopefully craft a bow. Now, um, we can't use the chests for crafting yet. Um, we have to take everything out of the chest until we do the magical chests. So there is actually chest crafting in this game, which is awesome. Yeah, so let's get... How do we do half? So quick move, shift, partial, control. Ah, I, lo I like that. They oh, man, look at this. This is sexy time. So they actually have done it now, like Minecraft uh, uh, does it. Well, Minecraft, modded Minecraft, where you can just use your mouse. That is just so sexy. I love that. And I think then you can have another partial move, which is shift. Oh, no, that's quick move. What was the other one? Right click, split stack. So this now has a new interface where you can uh, move things around, which is really nice. But this is my favorite. Holy shit, that is amazing. I absolutely love that. Oh, I needed six. I got so excited. I didn't even. Yeah, I'm going to use the mouse wheel for that. Thank you. That is a really, really lovely. Um... Oh, I only needed five. There you go. Now we have a bow. But I also need arrows. Crap. So, um, bow, 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 bow. Let's um, put the bow here. And put this here. We don't need this anymore. Salvage. Because we have this. And this one here we can equip. Now, equipped means that even though... So I don't have to select the bow to shoot. I can literally just hold down Q to shoot. Yeah. But sometimes it's easier to have the bow in your hand. Because holding down Q means it's technically really hard for me to press A now to move left. I have to use my middle finger because my index, uh, my uh, ring finger is on Q. So this only works if I don't have to really move much, yeah? But usually I would go into here so I can actually aim and kind of strafe around much easier. So I like that you have both options, which is really nice. I like when a game gives you options. Similar to Path of Exiles 2, which is now giving you the option to use WASD or 1, 2, 3, you know, sorry, or mouse move, which is really awesome because um, I was watching... Um, a video from oh, what was this game? Upper Echelon to uh, he played uh, uh, PoE 2 already and he says he found that with melee classes it was much easier for him to use the mouse but with ranged classes being able to use WASD and strafe while you while you shoot was just so much better than mouse movement so I really like that you can change it and use something that fits your style better which is really nice when games do that 
Okay, so we have our weapon, we have our bow, we now we need to make some arrows. How do we make arrows? Wooden arrows here, it just twigs. Excellent. Oh, okay, it crafts pretty fast with space actually. So the 10 is handy in that case then if you want to craft a lot, a lot, I guess. So, because space is pretty quick, I guess. Okay, it's not the end of the world. So how many arrows do I have now actually in my inventory? Um, 20. Okay, we're gonna keep them here to keep the, our inventory free. Um, let's put some of that stuff in here as well. That we're gonna pick up a lot. And we don't need any dirt right now. Okay. Good. Oh, there's another weapon here that I don't need. So we can put that here. Salvage. Why is that? Oh, that's the string. All right, let's go. Um, we need to make a bed very soon. So actually, we should make a hammer because once if we die, I think we can spawn pretty much anywhere. I'm not 100% sure, but we need a bed to make that our spawn point. So what do we need for bed? So we can't make we need um, we need to make some blocks. Okay. So make some wooden blocks or stone blocks, I guess. So we need a hammer, a construction hammer for that. We need one stone. So let's do that actually first. And that's, ooh, look at that. So I can actually do that and then just put, uh, oh, whoops. Oh, that starts with 50% when you scroll. That's pretty awesome. Okay. I think that's all we need right now. So it gets the construction hammer. Okay, and now it's the construction hammer. We can enter build mode. And we just need to make shapes, that's all. So roof stone blocks 100. And let's keep it out of wood first and see. Um, So what we need is a foundation. How do I... Oh, and then this, yeah. Oh, can you stone directly? That oh, that's terrain, sorry. It's roofs. Yeah, we need something bigger for the bed. So let's do this, and I'm gonna attach it here to the um, thing. So how can we actually attach, use snapping? So no snapping and snapping, good. And let's see if I can put a bed on top of that if I just have a wall and a roof. So if we just make a simple wall right here, or Actually, let's do that. Mm, a wall. We can always move it again later. And then a roof. Can this be a roof? It could be, but we should probably use a proper roof. Oh, why does that not work? Oh, missing materials. Okay, sorry. Do we already use up all the materials? No, we don't. Oh, we need different materials for the roof. So in this case, make it a floor, I guess. Okay, so now if we put a bed here, we should be able to sleep on that. Um, exit, escape. Okay. Bed. We need plant fiber, string, thorn, cl torn cloth. I think we have the torn cloth and the three strings. We just don't have enough fiber. So, yeah, we have the three strings. 
and we have a little bit of fiber and we have some torn cloth i don't think it's enough though is it oh it is excellent so you can make the bed yes so now we can actually uh, be in the bed and it has to be under a i think now we actually saved as well can i pick up the fire actually and put that beside my bed excellent Yeah, so now I have the bed here and we have the um, fire here. Very good. Okay. Let's get the rest of this bonus go up and then we're going to explore the um, runes over there to get a couple of um, resources. Um, tired of this grandpa, how are you? Thank you so much for becoming G4K Ninja. Very much appreciated. Um, thank you. Um, need a different building block. Yeah, yeah, that, that I think it was the one that you'd make with um, uh, Yeah, it needs a hay thing like so it's probably um, the grass or the fiber um, Absolutely So this time I'm not gonna rush through the game I think originally when I played it before the update I tried to rush to it through it too fast and I got a little frustrated because I ended up in areas That I probably shouldn't have been in things like that. So but we're gonna take it easy you know, do everything, uh, you know, explore everything. And actually, this beginner biome, I wonder where in this beginner biome is going to be the first um, hollow halls. I hope we can find it. And actually see how strong it is. That would be really sweet. Okay, so it looks like our buffs are going to be um, also soon gone. So we need... Uh, let's see, we want to get some... We're going to eat that. We're going to eat that and that's it so yeah once they're gone we're gonna refresh that okay so arrows how many do you have 20 okay we stick with mailer pretty much for now but i want to go into arrows then and um, we have to pick up all the resources we can as well So using the axe on these things is really good. Um, these can give you um, a little bit of metal as well if you're lucky, but this can give you um, cloth. There we go, cloth. I don't know if you get anything from that. Oh, look at that, we got a um, string action. And we got wooden arrows, nice. Okay, we got some water here, very nice. What does the water actually do again? Oh, plus one endurance and holy crap. Yes, please. So for 10 minutes, one endurance, one stamina recharge. So, and we don't really need intelligence, I guess, because we're not really casting. So I would say eating th uh, this and drinking the water is going to be uh, much better. So we might not even need the mushrooms. That's actually really nice. Can we not destroy that? Nope. Come here, rabbit. There we go. Nice. So the raw meat, let's see what the raw meat gives us. The raw meat is minus 75 stamina, so you definitely don't want to eat that thing raw. Definitely not. Okay, we're out of buffs, so let's uh, eat this. And drink. Excellent. And then this is for healing. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's actually change these guys around.
There we can pick up some more water. And you can see our stamina circle is, is much bigger now because we drank some water, which is really good. Yeah, 15 should be enough. chest. Ah, beautiful. Some healing and some more wooden arrows. Very nice. Can cook. i right back. Got to talk to a friend. Very good, Kona. Very important. Yeah, the mushrooms I'm actually going to keep raw. I'm not going to cook them. I'm only going to cook the meat because intelligence is probably not something I need. You need that when you cast magic a lot. You don't need that um, when you uh, do everything else. I don't think so anyway. book that's just i don't think that gives us a quest that just gives us a bit of experience and some lore there we go oh yes we find oh and i can sleep here that's really good i like it we got some uh, metal now which is our first metal metal scraps which we need have a chance to also give you metal scraps so it's always handy to smack them in the beginning got some strings anyway which is good oh falling to ruin oh that's just law again okay is that obviously oh, stone? Oh crap! That gave me a bit of a fright. I didn't see that one coming. Metal scraps, very nice. I think these skellies give us bones, actually. Oh, new location charted. So yeah, it, it always helps to pick these up. So in this case, we got a new location, a love letter to Queen Jasma. So they are like kind of little side stories you can follow. I'm not sure if they give you a reward or not, but um, they're always handy to follow anyway. go get some bones okay another chest here nice 
Yeah, I wanted I wanted a fast weapon. So I'm gonna get rid of that one in a second. Oh wow, we're not even hitting that rubber. There we go, that's better. That was uncomfortable. It was waiting, r waiting right outside that door. Oh yeah, with this we actually need a lockpick now. So let's see if it's worth it. It's not usually it's not worth it to craft a lockpick because what you get in it is not worth more than the metal you use. But we craft one anyway because we have quite a few metals. So let's craft a lockpick. Bagels, how are you? Oh, 19. Arrows, which in the beginning, I guess, is, is not that bad. Ah, no metal. There's another underground thing over here. Hang on, somewhere here. Oh. I heard a voice. Where's the dude? I thought there was another underground here somewhere. Maybe it's covered up now. I don't know. I thought there was another one. Hmm. Maybe it's buried? I thought there was something more here. No, it doesn't look like it. No. Fair enough. Let's go back. What is that? There's nothing in here, is there? No. Twigs. We need twigs. It's good. Loads of meat so we can get our stats uh, boosted. There's some ore here. Oh no, what is it? It's um, flintstone, that's what it is. I think now we can make flint arrows, possibly.
Yeah, let's put the raw mushrooms in here as well, actually, and get rid of the cooked ones. We don't really need them. This one we cook and then we can leave. We can take the meat with us, I guess. Oh, the grilled ones. Craft it. I delete the raw mushrooms. Because I know you can use the raw mushrooms for crafting later. Okay. Alright, we're gonna cook this and then we're gonna go to sleep. And we're gonna get really rested, which is nice. Cakes is always up to date. What you're talking about? What do you mean? Why does it need to be up? My stream elements need to be updating. Oh, seven days to die servers. Yeah, we don't we don't run them anymore. Yeah, I need to update the message. That is correct indeed. Yes, absolutely. Um, let's go for a nap. Night speed times sixty. Love it. I like the way how we sleep in our bed. Not on our bed. We sleep in our bed. Okay, so let's um, eat, drink, oh, it's already, okay. Oh, we still actually have all our buffs, okay. Fair enough. So what other weapons can we make? Um, Yeah, we need to get the blacksmith at first, um, but let me see, we can make the club is faster, I guess. We need only six wood logs, one staff. Let's make actually some racks, string and torn cloth. So let's do that. Um, string, fiber, cloth. Ah, crap, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, now we can make a top, some trousers, and then we can make a few more strings, which then allows us to make the shoes. There we go. Excellent. Now we also want a club. Yeah, this weapon is really strong, but it's very slow, so I need something fast. So we're gonna leave that one here. I'm gonna use that one instead. And we're gonna put that one character here. Let's go. So now we have to go a little bit into the shroud, start exploring, get some shroud wood, and head over to, well, generally explore our area, actually, our biome here. Let's see what's what. be collecting these type of things mushrooms not as much but 
anything else. Oh, nice. The wolf already has done some work for us. Beautiful. Yeah, we need to make the crabble hook as well very soon because actually, what do we need for the crabble hook? Oh, we need to make that on a workbench. Okay. Because we need the crabble hook to get across the bridge. But for now, let's explore this side. Because this is all part of the same biome and we might find what that hollow dungeon is on this side. There's a chest up there. There's actually two chests up there. The gravel hook helps with this a lot. I don't think we can get across without the gravel hook. But we can get to the initial chest here. Nice, flint arrows. Yeah, now we would need the crabble hook to get across here. To get to the other chest. I don't think you can actually get across any other way. Let me try though. It looked like we may have made that jump. Ah, oh, we can't actually stand on this? Okay. Fair enough. They probably did, uh, did that on purpose. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to make the hook. Let's get some shroud wood, actually, while we're there. Because we can get into the shroud down there as well. Nice free arrows. Yeah, here we go. We can get down into the shroud now. Another torch, another bit of a book. Um, hey, Almighty, how are you? We're just chilling out with some enshrouded. Let's get some wood from here. I think it's these it's any tree inside the shroud, I think. Yeah, there we go. We got shroud wood now. And this here is... What is this? Shroud liquid. Yeah. And I think these ones are also shrouded wood. No, they're shroud liquid as well. that oh that's shroud spores no shroud liquid and yeah, let's get more of those sh shroud woods i think we need that for crafting anyway got a ring I'm 
check out the ring. Yes, perfect. I think we can have two rings on our character. Yes, there we go, more stamina, beautiful. So let's actually eat the meat. Drink the water for our buffs. Look at that, beautiful. And then have some health. And that keeps us topped up, very nice. Beautiful. So this here replenishes your enshrouded thing by four minutes or five minutes or whatever. So it, I don't think it fills it up. So when you have like 10 minutes in shrouded counters or something, it doesn't fill it up. But it gives you more time in here to look around. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a closed tower. I thought we could actually go into that tower. Actually, light makes no difference here. Now, always remember to, to, to find the road. Because if you get lost in the shroud, that's terrible. Nice. Oh, those testicles. just what to say okay they're more liquid okay let's get more shroud wood the support for the bridge uh, oh yeah that makes sense uh, the two tower looking things okay let's actually try to go back oh, nice it's that to look a bit creepy here to be honest um, let's see what we need I think we have enough shroud wood uh, to make I think we need the shroud wood either for the hawk or for the glider Hello. Yeah, actually using the lock on when you chase something that's running is really awesome. I just don't like it when you're fighting close combat because it can get very confusing when the camera rotates that quickly. Oh, did I miss that camp? I think I did. Um, I read all these already, so I'm not. That's why I'm not reading through them again. Um, I only pick them up because I think they give you completion bonuses, and uh, some of them trigger side quests. I just don't remember which ones, so I picked them up. No.
Okay, that's great. We're back. Um, let's have a look. Oh, there's actually a secret spot here. Let me show you this. Do we have room? Yeah. Um, there's a secret spot here that I found last time off, off stream, actually, and I, I never remember to show it to you. I think if you go behind here, there's like a camp area where somebody's uh, campsite was. That's no longer there. I think it's over here. Yeah, here, look. Uh, they took Pike Meat's reach. They killed King Commander. So one of the guys uh, was here, Baltasar, like he had a little hut here. And it has some uh, height or whatever that is, fur. Which is pretty awesome. Anyway, I forgot to uh, share that last time. It's nothing important, just a little bit of lore. Cut down beehives from trees, retrieve honey and wax. Yes. Ninja, ninja, total ninja moves. Let's see, a glider. That, yeah, that's what we need the shroud wood for and the spores. Excellent. Let's craft the glider. It's beautiful. And the grappling hook needs metal scraps, strings, and shroud spores. I think I have more shroud spores in here. Let's see. Let me just merge everything in here first. Yeah, we need more. Okay, let, let's keep the basic resources here, actually. Hang on. Um, 20. Wrap arrows, flint arrows. Yeah, let's save them up here first. Oh. Here. Okay, we're gonna have to cook these. Can I equip this? Nice, excellent. So, uh, glider is what again? Double space or something? Yeah, okay. You just hold space and then you can glide. Very good. I like it. Oh, the fire is broken. Um, let's pick up the basics here uh, metal scraps, wood, stone. There you go. So to make the crabbling hook, we need six more strings. Um, oh, where's all my shroud wood? Nice, I actually have 10. Awesome. And we need a few more strings. Let's make 10, why not? Um, crabbling hook, there we go, beautiful. And now we can equip that as well, I believe. Nice. Let's do um, another campfire. Or can we make a bigger fire? Let me see. Plant by the survival storage. Fireplace. Yes. Nice. go and now we can cook here and that won't uh, go kaput um i think the raw meat is better it gives us more constitution i believe we'll see 
I really thought he was beelining for the carpenter stash under the bridge, but then he stood on it uh, for, I don't know. I have no idea. Ed Gibbs, I have no idea where these things are. Um, oh yeah, I did the the the, the shield and our uh, and uh, sword originally, and then I moved into um, two hundred melee, and I think then I moved into magic. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna keep it simple for now, just with arrows for the range, and because um, all I need is arrows for that, you know. So let me see what actually the buffs are for this two constitution and this one is one constitution so this one is better okay let's make another storage Some of the base resources here. Okay, good. Let's make sure we rest it. And we can get our comfort level up by basically crafting things, you know, decorations, things like that. So I don't think uh, decorations are currently a lot of options here. We have, oh, they're comfort. We can make a table. Give me a chair. So what we could do is actually let's pick up our hammer and just make this makeshift thing a little bit bigger. Um, let's take the hammer and let's take these things here. There you go. Oh, I love that we can do that. Look. <laughs> but it looks like they're actually in it. Um, I don't think we can move them, can we? We have to clear the storage first. Okay, so let's clear the storage. And now we can pick them up. And then we can uh, place them down here again. Let's make sure we build the wall first. And yeah, we can tear all this back down again uh, later. So it's not the end of the world. Which is brilliant. It's very easy to do, actually. Which is great. I love this about this game. Um, yeah, that's it. Don't need any more than that. And let's put our storage here for the cooked food, I guess. And what do we need to make more storage? Oh, strings. Yeah, I don't think I have enough fiber actually on me. Oh, I do. Excellent. And then we can put the other chests here. Totally crafted two. Did not say I crafted two. Hmm. Not sure where the second one went. Oh, there. Great. And um, how do we transfer everything over? R. Nice. Um, F R Now we can pick that up And that's for all the melee weapon stuff And I don't know what not and Let's pick that up yeah, Let's put the weapons in there The arrows and the runes. The old books, I don't really know what we need them for. Okay. There we go. Nice. And we take the wolf meat with us and we have the drinks. Good.
Um, now let's um, go and use our new hooks and get the chest and then get across the bridge and see what the story is. Oh, is that a wolf? Up there or is that a rock? It looks like a wolf, does it not? No, it's a, it's a tree stump. I thought it was a big creature there. Um, right, I'm off chat. Take care, peeps. Have a great rest of the evening of the stream. Thank you very much, uh, St. Lucas. Very much appreciated. Um, enjoy your evening. Uh, is this game worth to buy now? Uh, oh, absolutely. It, uh, Sadler, that game was worth buying on the first day it came out into early access. Absolutely. Now, I'm only talking about the context of that it feels like a, a, a game in early access that is a lot... It feels like a... Com it's, it's hard to say. It, it's not complete because the whole map is not opened up yet. Yeah, A huge part of the map is opened up and a huge part of the story and progression. But it, when I say it feels like a complete early access game, I don't mean a complete game. What I mean is that what you get feels complete. It feels like... Um, yeah, sure, some things could be improved, but it feels like a complete thing yeah it's similar to like seven days to die still being in early access but it's actually it feels like complete yeah up to the point where you can play it i'm sure it has end game missing things like that but what you play feels complete you know which is really nice and that's to me how early access games should be uh, early early access games should um you know while while they are while you can be flexible with uh, early access games in regards to bugs and stuff there shouldn't really be. I'd rather have an early access game where the current content is less, but what you have available feels complete and has no bugs to the best of their ability and doesn't look like 20 frames of junk. Yeah, especially if the game is small, there's no excuse for it to run like shit on a 30, 60 or 40, 80, you know. But... Um, and, and otherwise, I'm okay with early access, you know, to be small, yeah, and then growing over time. But I think it's important that what you have is always going to be a minimal, minimal viable product. I know that term is kind of misused by AAA companies, but I think for early access game, minimal viable product is great because what you have works and you keep building on top of it and it keeps working, working and just expanding and getting bigger. That's how I build software. So... That's how we build software in general. We we go from the MVP to the full pro, to the full product or to the full feature, you know, with little steps. Um, but each step feels like a complete part, you know, of the feature. Uh, and that's that's you know a good way of doing things. But AAA games use it as an excuse, you know, to do shitty work. That's just the way it is, um, which is kind of sad. So. Yeah, so full releases should not be MVP. <laughs> there should be full releases. Nice, we got some water. Okay, more healing. That's actually really cool. I love it. Um, I don't want to accidentally take the healing, so if I have my weapons attacked, I don't want to accidentally end up with the healing. So the food is nearly gone, so we're going to freshen that up in a minute. Kenneth, how are you? Oh, okay. I think here we're going to have some... Okay. Yeah, with, ma with magic, these guys are so much easier to kill. When you have a fireball, you can just fling it at them. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oof. Is that a fast weapon, though? Because if it's if it needs to be a fast weapon. Let me see. My current weapon speed is... is it, do I have a weapon speed? It doesn't actually say. Yeah, this one does more damage, but is it fast? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, beautiful. It's a, it's a one-handed weapon. That's great. Oh, there's actually bombs in there, I think. Sweet. Okay, I 
Let's see if there's any more to pick up here. Nice. Okay. Um... Get our, our rested bonus back up. There we go. I'm good. I'm missing seven days to die. I hear you say all the good stuff. Oh no, it's yeah, seven days to die is a great game, but I think after playing it since the day it was released, which is what, ten years ago? <laughs> it's uh you know it it, it 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 hasn't really changed much you know they, they change little things here and there but it still doesn't have an end game it still doesn't have you know like if you play something like darkness falls yeah that feels more complete of a game than the base seven days to die and i'm not saying it's bad if you haven't ever played seven days to die you definitely should buy it it's absolutely amazing yeah but it it, it is kind of to me personally from having played it for 5,000 hours at the point where they need to drastically change it uh, or sorry finish it or update it you know for it uh, to be another addictive little thing you know hey David how are you yeah uh, so yeah the video thing is just what really got me uh, nearly wrecked that's the, the problem I had with the videos um, because the editing, everything took so long. I I just, I couldn't cope with the time problem because I have a full-time job. I actually work. So um, it started interfering with my job too much. So um, I had to kind of say, you know what? I can stream in the evening, you know, and talk to people and be online, but I can't record for three hours. Like, so you, now I stream for three hours and I go to bed. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Um, before I stream, I spend some time with the family or whatever. We have our dinner, we watch some TV, and then um, I go stream, and then I go to bed. When I make videos, what happens is I record for about three hours, which is about three, four hours, which is the same than a stream, and then I need to spend another three to six hours editing. And then I need to make sure that video gets uploaded, and I, you, and, and I want to have a video every day, so... You got into the point to the point where I went to bed at four or five o'clock in the morning, got back up at eight o'clock to go to work. It, it just is not sustainable. It absolutely killed me. It, it just isn't possible. So, um, so I do videos every now and then, maybe you know, if it's like a small demo game that is not worth streaming, where I just spend a couple of hours, and I do that in addition to the stream, where I take like a week to edit it or something, you know, in my in between. But I just can't do the daily videos anymore, like while I'm having a full time job. It just doesn't, it's, it's not sustainable. So, and I don't want to give up completely on the whole YouTube thing because it's fun for me. It, it is fun and it does help to pay the bills to a certain extent. Like, so, of course, you know, but uh, it sadly is not going to be something that ever worked out to be a full time thing, you know. Which is maybe better. I don't know. It, ca it comes with a hefty price, you know, um, of, of never having time for anything else. Is there a bed upstairs, actually? That would be pretty sweet. Um, oh, Jess, I loved South Park. I, I, so, I, I, I'm surprised it only got such mid-reviews because the game is so much fun. Yeah, I really thought it was so much fun. I, and we will finish it. We absolutely will do another stream probably tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then in the evening we played Dragon's Dogma 2 again, but I absolutely loved it. I, I, the humor is so on point. Uh, the fact they changed it from a turn-based combat game into a... Oh, we're still in the same biome. Let's explore a little more. From a turn-based combat game into a kind of action RPG doesn't bother me too much. Uh, it's great. It's fine. The graphic change is a bit odd. They went for 3D taste instead of this typical graphics they did with the other two games but again you know it's fine it's it's not the end of the world you know it, to me the most important thing about this game is the humor and um oh 
Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One hit. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to come back here and pick up our stuff. Yeah, so we're going to have to be careful. So we didn't... How much did we lose? Yeah, we lost a couple of things. Uh, we definitely want to go get our stuff. It's because it's so close by. Yeah, I should have kept my distance. <laughs> Oh, I don't make money from YouTube to live on. Absolutely not. It, it, um, like, I'm earning my money from my job. Yeah. Um, absolutely. But since COVID and all that, you know yourself, uh, the, the, the cost of living gone up, you know, bills are going up. So uh, I'm glad YouTube still provides a little bit of a extra side earning for paying the bills and stuff like that, you know, to help paying the bills, which is great. So... And uh, gaming is my hobby. I would do that anyway. Even if I wouldn't do YouTube, I still would sit there every evening and, uh, you know, play a couple of hours games, you know, before I go to bed. Because I don't go out. I don't really drink or, you know, do anything else. Oh, why is the, this chest keeps opening? There's nothing in it. Oh, okay. Oh, the streams. Yeah. So I know a lot of people don't like the long format, you know, especially watching it afterwards as a video. They're like, Jesus, I'm not watching. Like, I think the last um, Alone in the Dark stream, we did we did the whole game over two streams because it was so addictive to play. It was so much fun to play. Um, I think I had a six hour stream unintentionally, you know, because I was like, oh, we have to finish it. We have to finish the game. I want to see what happens. You know, um, it was just too tempting. OK, let's put this torch down on the ground. Do we have another torch? Um, Okay, let's put this one on the ground. And let's see if we can get these guys. So let's make sure we move. Okay, let's eat, heal, and drink. Let's pick up the torch again. And let's go and get our loot. There's two melee guys. Yeah, okay. Shit, I'm out of stamina. Okay, I think we have to go. I don't think I can keep... Are they coming? Oh shit, he's coming down. Using every single thing in my arsenal to survive. This is amazing. Wow. What a douche canoe. Holy crap. What's the honey action? Can we eat the honey? Oh, 15 stamina recharge? Oh, my lord. If I would have known that, I would have eaten that instead of the healing. Um, at least we can do the healing potion like while we're under stress. OK, 
Okay, let's go for let's go for the next morning nap and then um, head over the bridge. Um, I I like Dragon like so it, Dragon's Dogma. Uh, uh, is it worth playing purely from a gaming perspective? If that is your type of game, if you enjoy Dragon's Dogma One, yes, absolutely. Do you need a pretty much a monster of a PC to deal with all the performance issues? Yes, yes, you do. And uh, I have a 1080 GTX. I don't have a monster PC, so I'm playing through GeForce now, which you can see here, which is using a. Um, can see it here behind my face, which is using a 4080, for example, you know? So it's a pretty beefy setup um, that a GeForce Now is running. But I would, like, you would literally need something. I know it says minimum require, oh, sorry, it says recommended requirement 2080 or something. You need at least a 3080 to play decent on this game, yeah? Um, they're saying the last update increased the performance uh, uh, a lot. Um, it, um, you know, if you turn off things like ray tracing and everything, they added now the ability to turn off ray tracing. I think PC already had it. So there's some things you can do to make the game run better. But um, it's in general, especially in towns, it runs very, very low frames, no matter how good your setup is. Yeah. So I would say you have to judge by your own setup. Yeah. Uh, but from a game perspective, and which is a pity because that all the, all these problems get overshadowed uh, overshadow the game, and the game is amazing. It, it is an absolute fantastic game. The combat is amazing. The way the the exploring and the the world is alive, it's just absolutely fantastic. If you're into RPG games, it's just an absolute amazing game. But it's overshadowed by all its current problems um, because they released the game too early. So from what I understand is. Uh, uh, Capcom's fiscal year ended in March, so they had to release the game before their fiscal year ends because they needed that money they make from the sales to be part of that financial year. And that means they were forced to release the game. Well, they, did, they forced themselves. It's a problem they created for themselves. They, they literally didn't need to have it in that financial year. That was their choice. That was a terrible choice. And that is why the game was released at least six months before it was ready to release, in my opinion. Because it even completely ran like trash on, on the consoles to a certain degree. Like So it was not ready. But overall, it's a very good game. Oh, the stamina, man. <laughs> stamina, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I mispronounce things, sometimes I stick with them afterwards, you know, just for the, for the giggles. Stamina and the bread roll, yeah. Yeah, I hope you got all the answers from the guys as well, uh, Sadler. Um, the game is really good. It's uh, this one here, like it's very a lot of fun. And um, again, loads of tutorials in the game as well, you know, to show you how things work and which is always nice. Okay, so let's uh, put things away before we sleep, I guess. Um, so, Control R, Control R, Control R. Look at that, love it. Except for the honey, I don't know where to put the honey. There we go. Um, yeah, I can delete that, I have this now. Okay, so what is missing down there? Oh, arrows. Yeah, we need to make arrows. Um, arrows, arrows, arrows. Twigs. Oh, you can't make an even number? Oh, now you can, yeah. So 10. Let's take 10 and craft. There we go. Is it already morning? Oh, it is. Okay, fair enough. Let's repair everything. Excellent. Let's go across. So um, we have 50 arrows with us. Is that enough? It should be enough. Surely it's enough. So let's head across. The bridge. 
Pick up all the twig, the twig, the twigs, the twigs and the fiber. But yeah, I was a bit worried about the South Park game at first uh, because you were asking earlier. But then I thought I'd, I'd do a one-off stream of it. But then I had so much fun. I was like, shit, this game is amazing. And the multiplayer and it works absolutely fantastic. It's like drop in, drop out. Like we started a session. We started our game and random. And I taught it for because there's AI as well. So if you if you don't play with people, uh, your team gets filled out by AI. And um, they're actually very good. And um, we started hosting a session, but then I couldn't find anybody, so I just started the game. But because I hosted it, people were able to join it. So we had random players drop in, drop out. It's just absolutely great. And you don't need voice chat or anything. So, oh man, it was so much fun. Oh, there's a chest there, I think. Oh, it looked like a chest was actually part of the rocks. So it wasn't actually. Metal scraps. Arrows. Ooh, nearly fell. Will that give us metal scraps? See, there's a chest here, I think. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I got him. Is he coming over? No. Can we destroy them? Do they give us metal? No. Ugh. it I think over here we get the blacksmith now if I'm not mistaken no, I'm probably wrong I thought there was a dude in there yeah here's where the game teaches about sneaking One of the things that I don't know if they changed it was the staff. It was such a pain in the ass. It was the one to aim at certain things. Like was here, I can aim at him. I can aim at the explodey barrel over there, which was a real pain with the wand because the wand auto aimed all the time. So here I can auto aim if I want to. So I can, um, I can get a bit closer. I think, yeah, there you go. And now I can basically just shoot him if I want to. Oh crap, he doesn't get up. After an action roll, he doesn't get up. Oh crap.
Like there's a dude right beside the barrel and with the wand I was never able to just aim for the barrel. It always aimed for the dude. There you go, dude should be dead. Very nice. I don't think we can get up there. Oh, yes. Repair. Good. All items repaired. Love it. That doesn't give... Oh, yeah. New lore page. Ancient and the flame. Cinder vault. Does that put a new marker? Does that put a new marker here on it? No. So we can get up here, there's a ladder. And there's a chest there as well, I think. So this is all of the background. So Balthasar worked on basically these pods that the uh, that we were, I nearly said the Arisen, that we were put in. Let's get some cloth. Can't destroy these things sadly for metal that would have been sweet we have a big boy in here now so what I might want to do is um, can we change arrows how can we change arrows I think we just drag them on but I only have eight of these that do eight damage these ones do six damage and let's put these on do I just drag and drop them on no how do I put the arrows in again? How do I switch arrows? Oh, there we go. It's the mouse. Oh, that's amazing. I forgot about that. That's so cool. That's really well done. I think there's a hidden chest here as well. Yeah, you can see the door there. You usually find... Uh, I think every time I went here, I found the maze. Uh, 200 maze or something. Oh, yeah. We, shit, did I bring... Oh, yeah, we have scrap, so I can actually craft one. Hopefully it has a bow in it. It, I think it's the same weapon I get every single time. And it's a two-handed weapon, but it's really powerful. Um, but I think it's a slow two-handed weapon. Yeah. Yeah, this is the blacksmith now, I think. Oh, we have him now, don't we? I think we have him. Yeah, the blacksmith. So we found you retrieve the survivor, place them in your home with the summoning stuff. So now we have to craft the summoning stuff, which we can craft here. Which is great. And with the summoning stuff, uh, we can now summon our blacksmith. Oh, when you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening a map navigate. Oh yeah, I forgot about fast travel. Oh yeah. Oh crap, I ate the meat. Didn't mean to do that, but ah well. Can we get up there? Is there something up there? That would be nice to know. 
and you can't fast travel when you're in the shroud that's one limitation so when you're in the shroud you have to get out of the shroud first let's get some twigs and more berries there we go fast travel back to our home. There we go. Oh, the vase. Oh, I, sorry, I read that too late. <laughs> sorry. Um, we gotta go back uh, there. We gotta go back there anyway, because there is a gate we have to go through. Sorry about that. I, I read that too late, actually. Sorry. Um... I'm gonna keep that one though. I think I'm I'm not a big fan of the slow weapons because that's what I did last time and they just got me into too much trouble. So um we're gonna use the summoning stuff, we're gonna get rid of that, we're gonna keep that. And we're going to take not this. Okay. Um, they like to be under a roof as well. So let's pick up the the hammer and these things here. So I think Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Awesome. You get all your resources back, which is great. Um and now we get a new quest here. The survivor will be a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff which can craft from a simple twig. We already did that. So let's... Uh... Okay. Let's, uh, there we go. Oh shit. That's not where I wanted to place him. <laughs> that's... Okay, let's place him here. Another quest? What do you have? You have awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the spring lands. Okay, that's it. Nothing else? No. It didn't add anything. No quests. Okay, so let's talk to our buddy here. To flame and glory! So now he opens up a whole different set of crafting recipes. Um, Ooh, nice one-handed weapon. I think the sword would be... A spike club actually would be nice. We need nails for that, which means um, he can craft nails, but we need metal scraps, which I have. Um, but... Um, oh, look at that fur armor. That's nice. We definitely should be getting that. That would be pretty sweet. And we can do some more decorative stuff, I guess. Um and charcoal kiln very nice and forge yes so let's see what our quests are with our friend crafting the first gear cleansing the fire crafting the first huh. gear. took you long enough to find me look at you weak and puny and they call you flameborn first thing you need is equipment lucky you woke me up first crafting a scrappy sword uh, a spike club or some armor will serve as well ah. ember veil can still be saved where there's ash, there's ember. The shroud suffocates the valleys. So seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. OK, 
Okay, well rested, even with your new gear, you shouldn't feel to save out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. Of course, fire a roof over your head and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Okay, good. So, let's get some resources together and enter the elixir well is one of the quests, but I think this one is more appropriate right now. So, let's set that up as the end of quest. Um, I think I have everything here, isn't it? Yeah, okay. See what we can craft. Let's put the summoning staff away. Leave the building staff here because we will be uh, actually making some more wood blocks. Close off the area a little bit better. Um, how do I rotate R? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, so now I can pick that up and put it here. You're snapping. Good. All right, very good. I like it. Nice, good. Slowly coming together. Um, again, this can all be changed. I'm just doing it, you know, to keep everything closed because we don't get attacked anyway, uh, to keep him indoors because he has to actually be indoors. Otherwise he complains. Um, so, which means he has to be under a roof similar to our bed. Um, I think that's everything we need here right now. Okay, so um, let me see what you need to actually uh, ask to craft. So you want us to make, um, we need charcoal. We need to make a charcoal kiln. Let's craft that. Better to be the hammer than the anvil. And we can leave that one outside. So that, that's fine to be outside. Nobody cares right now. So we can always move this. Um, um, okay. Yeah. So now to make charcoal, I think we just use uh, some wood. 17. No, why are you giving me so much? I want exactly 17. Okay, so in this case, I probably have to do shift. No, fuck. What is it again? Um, split, okay. Make it 32. Oh, 34, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, and then six dirt. I think we have dirt here. Yeah, six dirt.
There we go. And this will now make 15 charcoal over the next 10 minutes. So we're just going to leave that running. Oh, it actually shows you now. This is pretty awesome. I like that. Hi, Cakes. Don't think you need the materials in the inventory. Now you craft from tables unless they have not implemented yet. They do, but you need the magic uh, uh, chests. Uh, normal chests never shared the inventory, Andrew. You need the magic chests. Uh, but yeah, they fixed it now so that you uh, you can um, pull it from there. Uh, Lord Sauron, bless you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what else do we need? We need to craft um, a weapon. So I want to craft... the spiked club so for that we need four nails one two that's four nails and now we can craft this excellent now get out hey it's my house it was insane you know okay um this one is 14 this one is 16 okay good I actually would love to go dual wield or something. I don't really want to use the shield. But um, if we're using a bow, it would be nice if there was like dual wielding daggers. I don't know if it has dual wielding. Doesn't Shrouded have dual wielding? There's no dual wielding. Aww. Yeah, I played it when it came out originally, but I tried to rush through the kind of game a little bit and I got a bit frustrated when I got uh, blocked by a lot of areas like, you know, where I couldn't progress anymore. One of the big issues I had was there is um, an area here that is part of the main story quest that you have to find and I could never find a way to get to that area. I eventually had to cheat, well not cheat, I had to actually fly across from a mountain height over through the shroud onto another mountain and then walked across but I never found the actual proper path to get to wherever that area was. It was really frustrating. Um, because this area here of the shroud is huge and then you have the lava drops so every time you glide across something there's these lava drops and you get stuck and then you fall and you die over and over and I just got to the point where I was like nah this is just I can't <laughs> so um, yeah so I'm, I'm assuming that means you're not supposed to go into that area yet you know something like that so is my quest done now that um yeah, it is. So now we have this one left. Okay. So let me craft as much armor as I can um, for our armor set. So let's do the chest first because that gives the most, I think. Yeah, and then the legs. So chest first. And then legs. Okay. Oh, anything else? Okay, and now let's make some strings. Oh, some bandages, actually. I forgot I can craft them as well. Oh, flame altar. That's... Oh, but we can't actually have a second flame altar yet, I think. Altar level one. What's the maximum? Oh, Excellent, we actually can already make two flame altars. That means we can make our first fast travel point over in the in the uh, in this area potentially here. So we could put a fast travel point here, which means we can then go very quickly to the ancient vault again, go to the city here. Um, there's a tower nearby and then we can start clearing the elixir well as well. We can drop in from that side or this side. It doesn't really make a difference. But um, having a fast travel point here would probably help. Not sure. Okay, let's see what else we can craft. We have the chest, so let's make uh, the hat strings too. Yeah. 
Let's make this. And the feet. Awesome. Fight fire with fire. Oh, that is sweet. Okay, look at that. We're fully set. Um. Oh, yeah, the third spire. Yeah, I couldn't find the way. I just have no sense of direction. I kept getting lost in the shroud on that side. And, oh, man, it was just frustrating. Um, this game is fun multiplayer. I play with a friend and we do the main story together building. Yeah, the main story together, like, how, there was a lot of problems with multiplayer where one person had everything given to them when they completed a quest, but the other people didn't get that progression or something. Uh, did they fix all that? Yeah, there's a lot of quests, actually. The new dungeons are very hard alone. Oh, wow. Um, I can't wait to find the actual dungeon in the first biome here to see where it is. I hope there will be a quest now leading us to the dungeon. That would be pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. How do, how's that going? Excellent. We got our charcoal. Beautiful. So now that we have the charcoal, we should be able to make a forge. Oh, we, we used up all our metal scrap and our stone. Well, stone is easy to get, but our metal scrap. Okay. Break a leg. Oh, several. Oh, several. Let's uh, make a little bit more. There we go. So now we have 63. Let's make. Let's make one more. There we go. Oh, it's only 10. Let's make two more. There we go. Um, what else did we need? Oh, yeah. I wanted to check if I can make something to make the air, um, to get more comfort. So let's uh, make a table, I guess. Plus one comfort. Table. Let's craft that and share. And now our comfort is level nine. Look at this. We now have 14 minutes of rested bonus. That is absolutely sweet. That's great. Um, is there anything else that we can add for comfort right now? Illumination. <sighs> Candles. We need some wax. I have wax. Honey, there. Told you I have wax. Um, and it's not additive. I don't think you can add multiple candles. Um, I don't think that's how it works. So you can put that candle here on the... Let's turn snapping off and put it right here. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Let's get some resin. Resin can drop from, the, from these trees, but it has a higher chance dropping from the red trees or the yellow trees. Um, God, there's a yellow tree here somewhere, I think. Let me see. I think there's one actually here in the beginning. Yellow tree. And that has a high chance to get a resin. Let's just tick any tree. Let's hope we get lucky. If we chop down a couple of trees, we can get a resin. We can end up with a resin. No resin here. Is the tree in here by any chance? I know there was one tree. I think they're yellow. I think it's over here, actually. There we go. I think that is. Yeah, there we go. Now that one has a high chance. It doesn't mean we get a resin. It just has a higher chance of dropping resin. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Is there another one? There's another one. Yep, 
Yep, there's another resin. There's another one. Beautiful. Excellent. So upgrading the flame altar removes section of the crowd. Yeah, I had it upgraded to level three at the time. Um, we need red mushrooms, bones. So we actually, yeah, the spark. Sorry, the spark I get from the flame well. Yeah, so we need the spark to upgrade this. Okay, so uh, what did I want to do? Yes, I wanted to make one more comfort item. The bench. And then we have everything here. A decorative doesn't give comfort items, no. Okay. Now the bench. Put it on the workbench because that makes sense. Okay, fine. I'm gonna put it actually here. Um, There we go. Excellent. So how much comfort do we have now? 12. Level 12 comfort. Look at that. 17 minutes of increased stamina. I love it. Um, now we have full... Ugh, come on. Oh yeah, get up. Let's sleep. Now we have a new weapon. Um, we can't make a new bow. But it would be good if we can make flint arrows. What actually does it take to make flint arrows? Uh, flint arrows. Ooh. How do I make flint arrows? Oh, I probably need the forge for that. Yeah, I probably do. Yeah, that's decorative. Okay, so let's eat. This we don't need. Salvage. eat let's drink and we don't need to heal awesome okay okay we have some new things let's put let's put crafted stuff in here I guess as well like this And put this in here. My charcoal is kind of crafted, I guess. So is that. Okay, let's go. Um, oh yeah, let's uh, craft the flame altar. How do we f craft that? Flame altar is just five stone. Okay, yeah, we picked it up here.
and I want to go over to the pots with the lids as well now just to check them again. You guys were saying that you, you probably get some metal uh, from them. That would be pretty sweet. So the eternal well is over here. So what we could do is we can put the... Flame altar. Like right here. Yeah, put it here. So that becomes a fast travel point now, which is pretty awesome. wolf meat beautiful and we can destroy that again one of the things i wish you could do is that you could dynamically kind of destroy them from a different location and and build a new one so i would love to be able to go somewhere here now and say oh right click on this and say destroy yeah and then i would be able to build another one where i'm currently at that would be really nice because well, otherwise what you need is you always need a spare one you know because you need to build one, travel back to the other one, destroy it, and then uh, uh, travel back to the one you placed, you know? So you, you always need a spare one. No, the elixir well, that's what it's called. Enter the elixir well. So that's what I have to do now. And then upgrade the flame shrine, yeah. So where's those uh, things here? Is it these guys that you can destroy, is it? No, you can't destroy that. What about this? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you could destroy it. Oh, it's awesome. Nice, this one actually had some fur in it. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Oh, what about this? Oh, it's just stone. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, not much. Just stone. Okay, let's head over to oh yeah now what we can do is we can just fast travel there and then we can uh, go into the elixir well There you go, those red bushes, loads of resin there. Yeah, let's go. Huh. Oh, shit, there's so many of them here. throws bombs as well I forgot about that Oh 
shit. I saw it and I didn't react. Okay, let's heal up. Oh shit, these guys. Here we have now our shroud disappear, I think. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, you can also mine the pots? Fine. Oh, that's awesome. There's a chest here, I think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. So this one does, is 10 power, draw speed, stamina cost, 15 cost. This one is... Oh, this one has no stamina cost to draw. But this one has stamina cost? didn't have that, did it? Yeah. Mm. It's tempting now, isn't it, really? You know, should you use one or the other? Stamina being a constant enemy now. It does great damage in exchange. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Stamina is gonna be a problem. Drinking. There we go. Oh, let's actually go to the top quickly first and uh, get rid of the shroud because we were assing around there. Okay, there we go. Location above? Enter the elixir? Well, I did it. 
So there's an overgrown pit spitting corruption enter the elixir to find them. Okay, yeah. We're gonna explore this a little bit more in detail later. Now we have all the time in the world to fight him. Oh crap, stunt, not good. Okay, we got an upgrade to our weapon as well. 14 damage. That's 16 damage, but this one is... Ooh, we can upgrade that several times. This is gonna be much better. This one we can upgrade as uh, zero times, I think. Yeah, sorry, this one has all the extra things unlocked for me. That's good, I like that. Chests here. Okay. Hey, Prolo, how are you? Now we can explore here a little bit and get all the chests that are here. I don't think <gasps> these things give us anything interesting. <laughs> nothing okay there is a chest here somewhere if I remember correctly <laughs> let's pick up all those critter skins Chest, just some arrows, psyllium. Metal? Yes, metal scraps, nice. I think that's the only chest that's here. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, the game is pretty impressive, all right. Like it's it's uh, it's it's very nice. I like the features, how everything is kind of progressing. The progression is nice, and um, even if it's not to someone's liking the way it progresses or whatever, it's either way it feels like that the developers thought about it and you know try to make a meaningful progression and stuff like that so i mean of course you can't please everybody but um i still think even if i wouldn't be a fan of the game i still think it's well designed so now we can explore a little bit down there as well to 
to see if there's any more. And I think we got a skill point as well, actually. Um, yeah, we're four actually now. So what we wanted to do first was we wanted to go and get the double jump. And do this first, yes, and then get the double jump. So we need two more. And then we're going to go into the assassin area. Because I do want to use my bow more. And uh, stamina will be a big thing. These things we can't destroy. Can we destroy it? metal because now we're gonna have to upgrade the flame Metal. Yes. Beautiful. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Deadly shroud can suck my toe. Deadly Shroud is a pain in the ass. Okay, no chest here. What is this location above thing? I don't get it. Um, so if we go up there, the quest is done now. So why does it keep telling us to go here? I don't get it. Oh, we're done. Yeah, okay. So, we can go home now, actually. Yeah, the rest of the bonus outside in the campfire lasts for five minutes. 
I think. So at least here we can now fully repair. There we go. Very nice. Okay, let's get rid of everything. Except for the new stuff. So the new stuff is this and this. Well, we need this now. And the critter parts we don't need yet. Actually, the masterful maze. Yeah, we can destroy so much that. And the critter parts. Uh, oh, we don't have any more room anywhere, do we? Oh, we do. Let's put them in here. Whatever. Okay, let's talk to our buddy here. Let's fix that up. Scaling an ancient spire. Yeah, that's good because that ancient spire will, um, I think, become a fast travel point then. Um, Ember will has changed before our time. A race of ancient built towers to survey the lands. The ancient spires one is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. That's actually a pretty cool um, little area. Okay, we have more decorative items here. But the forge, we want to build the forge actually now. That's what we want to do. Forge and upgrade that. Ember will can be reclaimed. Collect sparks and offer them at the flame altar to strengthen the flame. Sparks lie scattered around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. New quest. Flame altar based improvements. Yes. Um, so we have two quests here now. The ancient spire and the flame altar based improvements. So if we look at that, um, there's a flame altar actually right here. So we should probably go go there now, pick it up. Let's get the rested bonus action. Pretty okay for rested bonus, let me see. Um, let's eat that. Equip that. Um, that is my crafted bow so we delete that um, delete that I think we can upgrade this on the forge as far as I know <laughs> the ancient towers were, were built to, to, uh, to sell more wingsuits I totally believe that absolutely 100% true Bastard. <laughs> Little circling crazy bunny. I'm trying to avoid spoilers, but your challenging kicks is better than uh, Ed Cobbett than I am, so probably be fine. Um, oh, if you only started this game, yeah, absolutely. It's enjoy it. Don't worry about. Um, You know, don't spoil it for yourself, absolutely. Okay, we're running out of arrows, actually. Oh, we should be able to just craft some more here, actually. There we go. Not enough. Okay, I don't know what that was.
<laughs> the little sheep is running around the wolf saying, Not so tough now, bitch! <laughs> Oh, he's like a horny little feckin' what's not. You have to be careful with this guy. Yeah, he hits actually really hard, so... And he has that flurry as well. Curse these gnome skulls. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. What is that? An apprentice wand. Is magic still so crap? I'm gonna have to actually try that. Let me see. Um, sure, let's... whatever. Yeah, you still can't aim with magic. That is so annoying with the wand. The wand should behave like a, like a bow. You should be able to aim because if I want to, for example, to say this chest would be an explosive barrel, yeah, I can aim at it from here like this, but the moment there's an enemy, it starts targeting the enemy and I'm like, no, I want to shoot the barrel to blow that bastard up. It, it just doesn't work. I, I hated it so much. I didn't like magic for that reason at all because I had no control over what I wanted to hit. But yeah, it was great to auto hit like a running target, but... You couldn't play at all tactical. It was just so annoying. And it kept swapping targets. And you, you can't always combat with a lock-on target, especially if there's multiple, because you don't want your back turned automatically to another target. And you want to keep an eye on him. So with a bow, at least you can target exactly where you want. The wand is just so annoying. I, I didn't like it at all in the end. So you get salvaged. I thought they maybe have changed it, like which would have been nice. Oh, let's actually get that. Get that flintstone. Oh, there was only one flintstone? Okay. Okay. Got a little bit of flintstone, I guess. Let's get that chest. I think we can sleep here, actually.
blocked. Bushes, give me more food. There we go. Nice. Get my flintstone. the flipping raw meat I was in the wrong bloody thing ah bastard Let's eat some of that gives us some stamina Stamina going much faster. So when we can make the flint arrows, we have a lot of flintstone then, which is great. How much do we get? 17. Mm, should be enough for now. What is that? Oh, that's closed off. We can't actually get through there. Okay. Oh, uh, we're just gonna have to check it out. So this is locked off, I think. Oh, deadly shroud. Yeah, okay. Is that the tall tower over there? I think that's the tower, yeah. Solid block always helps. Oh, damn. down there oh nothing except more um, flintstone okay is that a cave over there Looks like more deadly shroud over there. Yeah. Most likely. Oh, 
we're gonna have to check it out just to make sure. Yeah, more deadly shroud. Bastard. Um, with the bow, it's hard to hit moving targets. Yeah. The wand is easier with the moving target if you just lock onto one, but I found it, the wand very hard with the... Like, the wolves come straight at you, so, you know, that's actually not too bad. Shit, these What is that? Nice, easy. Bastard was big. I actually keep forgetting that I have bandages. Nearly there. Is there any chests here? chest here Is it all the way up there? Crap, did I did I take a wrong turn? Ah, oh, bollocks, did I take a wrong turn? Oh, I went the wrong turn somewhere. Well, we could theoretically... Uh, do that. I hate everything about this that I went the wrong way. This is pissing me off now. <laughs> I thought I was following the right way. Oh, what a waste of bloody time. Oh, fuck. Oh, he 
He's so annoying. Unless we can get through it from over there, but I'm not so sure. Definitely don't fall down there. Do not fall down there. Oh, crept. Hmm, interesting. Does that show up on the map? Oh. Ah, bastard. I blocked! Mother of tits. Don't make me die now. Um, okay, let's eat, let's drink, and bandage, and eat, I find, and throw a healing potion, okay, now we should be okay. this corn nice awesome oh you look <laughs> so this is even further up yeah we're not gonna get there Ugh, I wasted so much time now on this what a drag So how many skill points do we have now? Four. Excellent. So now we can do the double jump. Nice. Okay. Let's bandage up. Bandage. Excellent. Okay. Peaceful acres. Well, it's not peaceful, is it? Oh my god, would you die? You just, like, you should be dead already. Okay. Oh, these rats, they hide in these tight little corners. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. Get some salt. Okay.
Picked up a campfire. Nice. Oh, backpack full. Um, uh, let me see. What can I get rid of? Uh, I don't really want to get rid of anything. Dirt. I can get dirt whenever. And this should be here. And this we're going to use. Go to the other side. Okay, we went everywhere in here. Stupid wolves. Ooh, we can pick up some more crop. That would be sweet. And soil as well. Actually, we can pick up soil here. That would be good. Let me get rid of some stuff. Actually... Plant fiber, yes, for days. And then cop as well, nice. Pick it all up. You're gonna get so much fiber from this, that is awesome. And now what we can also do is this. To get soil. Farming soil. Okay, so I think we're gonna go home. We did as much as we could here. Oh, hang on. Is that a fast travel point over there or something? That? Water. Is that a fast travel point? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a resurrection spot. Yeah, so if I die, I resurrect here. That's right. wolf den hier. Oh, there's no loot in here. That's where the tower is. Yeah, we're gonna go home first and then we're gonna travel to the tower next time. So, um, 
that's the peaceful acres scavenger camp was mineshaft where we started off and we can't get here so i think we have to get to the tower first and then we can fly across from the tower or something i think that's how it works um let's go here Our weapon durability is very annoying, but at least it's a free repair. Uh, well, at least for now it's a free repair. But, um, yeah, it's a bit annoying, all right. Yeah, so that's all the new stuff right now. Um... Okay, do we have everything? Can we upgrade anything? Um, the bones, hang on a second. We should have bones already here somewhere. Yeah, they have 50 bones. Okay, let's put them in here, I guess. Okay. So let's see, what do we need to upgrade? Um, strengths in the flame. Resin, mushroom, bones, shroud, spark. We don't have a spark. Do we have a spark? Did we not get a spark killing the dude? Oh, that's a shroud core. That's different. Upgrade the altar as a shroud core. Okay, altar level 2. That makes our area bigger. It's not that we care really too much about that, I guess. Um, okay. But I think this is only for our current altar. So this one is home level 2, but this is the level 1, yeah. It's the upgrading of the flame that's across the area. So let's see if we have enough for a forge, actually. Um, 10 metal scraps. And ten charcoal. Um, yes, ten metal scraps. We have wood. We have stone. Uh, what do we need? What else do we need? Charcoal. Ten. I think we, we have charcoal. Yeah, we said we put it in the crafted one. So here. Oh. Yeah, there. Okay, let's do it. Let's build the forge. Now get out. I think now we can upgrade our weapon. No, we can make metal sheets. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. So how do we upgrade our weapons? Oh, enhanced equipment. There we go. I completely didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, we need the... Don't waste your breath. I just did not see that forgot about that at all so that's our melee weapon uh, cutting damage okay attribute bonus blunt damage cutting damage and precise now with the sword uh, with the bow we can do fire magic damage increase critical strike chance and fire magic damage i guess so now these are fully upgraded which is awesome Dirt here. Don't really need the campfire. But we want to cook our food. Um, spawn. Uh, yeah, it's a spawn point. Yeah, I got I got in the habit of carrying enough to make exploratory altars and a workbench for field repairs. Yeah, workbench very very handy to have the resources for that. I think the workbench is actually very cheap, so uh, it's just some wood, so you just chop down a tree and you're fine. Yeah, wolf meat is the best, it's really good. 
Well, for right now, it's the best. So when we get action here, we want to do this first because I think we can fly across to this. So yeah, it's, uh, the, the, the archer is something I'm going to work on. We're definitely going to put the points into that tree to um, get the stamina buffs and more damage with ranged weapons because we do want to get eventually to a point where we nearly one-shot everything with the arrow. So food goes in here. Um, I'm actually going to bring two of those with me because let me get half. Yeah, so I use these like just for, you know, in general, and then these guys with the double constitution um, when we get into the tougher areas. Can I have two of them if I have everything empty? Okay, good. So when it comes to the skill points, um, the next ones we get, we're going to go into the Assassin. And we're going to go for um, increased dexterity attribute. I think dexterity is what gives us the actual... Um, dexterity, what gives us the... Dexterity is damage for ranged weapons, I think. Where, do, where can we see that? Dexterity attributes. Increases range damage, yes. So dexterity is going to be good and endurance. Oh, there it was. That's what I wanted to see. Let me see. That looks... Does it look so terrible when I have to lay this thing off? The beard looks a bit weird. Yeah, sharpness looks a bit weird. Yeah, I don't know which one is better, you know, in anti-aliasing. Reducing the quality or disabling it will increase performance. I don't know if DLAA or DLSS is better. I have no idea. If you want to use a bow, go for ranger tree. Um, but I get range damage here as well. So this this one is um, range damage. Consume less stamina. Glider's consume less stamina. That's definitely something I want. 
Um, so endurance and stamina is good because our bow uses a lot of stamina. Then you have plus ranged attack. Uh, bow. Again, ranged attack. Headshots. Exploding arrows. Damage. So this does kind of go. And then you have shell shock, ranged explosives. Oh, with mana. Ooh. And then the ranger tree is... All damage dealt with ranger is increased 10%. Oh, that's very good. So that's pure damage. Yeah. Okay, so this is raw damage. Yeah, meanwhile, this here is crit chance and crit damage. So I might go into both a little bit. So um, I think starting off with extra dexterity and the 5% damage on both sides would be good because they're only one point each. And then... Um, Starting here, greatly increases zoom while aiming with a bow. To aim, hold down right mouse button while the bow selecting the action button. Turn and hold Q to aim. I don't know if sneak attack is even worth it, to be honest, because um, sneak attack deals massive 10 times damage, but I don't think I ever was able to sneak up on anything. So, yeah, I don't think that's necessarily worth it. So we, yeah, we're gonna go into this tree. That makes sense. The ranger tree, and then multi shot. Um, you can draw and use your bow while gliding. If you fall slowly, that's amazing. Yeah, and combining that with this tree will be really good, I think. It's a pity assassin is not actually something with daggers, and dual hand dual handed daggers. That would be amazing. I really don't understand how they have a ranger and an assassin one where the assassin is basically ranged weapon damage. That looks really weird. I would have assumed the assassin was like melee dual wielding daggers. Something like that. That would be amazing. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, I'm going to leave this here. Um, I think it saves automatically when I leave. So quit to main menu. That should automatically get us uh, saved. And um, yeah, so we're going to continue with this. We're going to the tower next time. And again, I'm not going to rush this. I'm not going to go, oh, where are all the guys? And I'm going to get them quickly. Uh, that That's what kind of got me bollocks last time, like a little bit. Um, and then I kind of was not high level enough for the things I wanted to do. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to find out where we craft all the arrows and everything. So, um, Oh, that sounds interesting, Beastmaster. I might have a look at that as well. Um, but I definitely want to try to use the bow in uh, on this guy first. And we can always respect by removing all the points in, on the flame, which is really awesome. So... Um, Yeah, I don't know if Exploding Auras uh, was there. You have to read the update notes, which are pinned here, and uh, see if anything of that changed. But um, anyway, thank you so much for uh, joining the stream. Very much appreciated. Could leave a like on the way out. That would be great. Um, thank you so much for being here. And Kona, again, thank you so much for all the super chats. And uh, tired of this grandpa, thank you for becoming a G4K Ninja. Very much appreciated. Tomorrow, we're going to probably in the afternoon finish uh, South Park. Well, finish. I think we can finish it because I think it's only two chapters left. But apparently there's some replay value to it. So we have to figure that out and see how that works. But we're going to do one more South Park stream. Then we're going to have Dragon Dogma. Um, hopefully I can stream twice tomorrow. So we're going to do that. And then on Sunday, we're going to go back to Enshrouded. And uh, then we go and see after that. Um, there's also a couple of games you guys suggested in the comments and on the Discord. So I want to have a look at them as well and see if we can at least do one off stream of them and see how people like them but um anyway i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching and i see you guys uh, tomorrow until then have a good night and stay safe bye bye